these are our elderberries, so they're not all ready yet, so you can kind of see there's like some green ones. I can't quite see, but there's a couple of green ones you can see a little bit there. So they're not ready yet. <laughs> Elderberry. The girls are working on a cool art project and while they're doing that I'm going to pick off the berries. I watched a couple YouTube videos on how to pick the berries off if there was an easier way to do it and it looks like if you use a pick like what you use for ethnic hair to brush ethnic hair that that helps comb all the berries off really quickly but I don't have one of those and our tiny little local grocery store is not going to have that either so we're just going to pick them off by hand and then later this month when more of the berries are ready, I might go get a comb and, or a pick, excuse me, and try that and see if that makes it faster. I can't really reach them. So I just picked off one bunch, but now we need to go through. The stems are potentially poisonous. We don't want those in our elderberry juice. So we need to go through and pick out any yeah. stems. Yeah. Juice, yes. Um, is the juice gonna make our tummy upset? No, it's gonna help you be healthy. And then we need to also go through, I just have a couple little green berries. We don't want those either. So we're gonna pick those out. And we can just throw all that in the compost pile. doing this and by the way this turned out to be a bit more labor intensive than I was planning on but uh, it's all right we'll try that pick next time and see if that saves us some time it's these little teeny stems break off so easily when I was pulling them off and now trying to get them out of the bucket and then putting the loose berries in this jar so then I can double check them all but anyway Sam just came inside He's trying to work on something in the car. He just came inside and sat in his chair. That's usually a bad sign because that means he's got to get on YouTube and figure out how to fix something. So we'll check in with him in a minute. A little wine. How many should I have? How do you feel about working on vehicles? Well, when it goes the way it should, you don't have the right part though. Just it's a little frustrating. Okay. So you, you mean? You can't find the Hoosie Majigget for the thingamajig. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Need the five dollar part. Back to that, town. That I thought I had, but when you need it, you know exactly where you put it, and then when you need it, it's no longer there. I don't like to point fingers at people. Why? <laughs> Gee, if you put it where it goes the first time, though, it I wouldn't get it. moved. I had it in the exact spot I needed it. <laughs> the counter is no, not. It was not. It was in the glove box. Yes, it was. What? It was in the glove box. What are you talking about? <laughs> Ta-da! We did it. Just a little short of half a quart. 
And that's from one plant I took six, I don't know what you want to call them, six bunches off of. So we're going to pour them out on a cookie sheet so they can freeze a little bit. And after a couple hours, we'll dump them into a Ziploc bag. That should keep them from all clumping together. And that way when we're ready to make syrup at a later date, we can just uh, take them out of the freezer and scoop out how many berries we need. And there we have it, our frozen berries. They're gonna stay in these bags and go in the freezer. And then as we need them, we'll take them out to make syrup. We have a ton more outside. So I think this will be an ongoing project. Um, spend a couple hours a week for the next couple of weeks just picking them when they're ripe. 